They come in every shape and colour, hard as stone, smooth, rigid or feather light. These are seeds from the wild, collected from landscapes across the planet and stored to preserve plant life for the future. And together they form the world's largest collection of wild plant seeds. For 25 years, researchers at Kew have been gathering and storing the world's flora, a global effort to protect plants from extinction. Seeds arrive here from more than 100 countries, dried slowly to remove moisture and extend their lifespan. Drying is the first step in increasing the longevity of those seeds. So we gently dry them, and so that's going to increase their lifespan and storage. In the cleaning room, unwanted husks and debris are removed by hand and machine. So it's quite labour intensive um, cleaning seeds. It's all going to be quite um, mechanical, so we've got lots of sieves you can see behind me. Uh, we have aspirating machines, which are electronic winnowing machines. Um, so yeah, all quite hands skilled jobs. Next, in the germination lab, scientists test whether the seeds are still alive. They add moisture and warmth to mimic natural conditions. In this case, um, we have very good germination on these seeds um, and we can see that the radical um, has come out of the seed, so that gives us an indication that they're alive. After being dried and processed, the seeds are stored in this, a huge underground vault, blasting them at minus 20 degrees Celsius. So far, this project has banked 2.5 billion seeds from around 190 countries. The vault sits beneath the Sussex countryside, designed to withstand fire, flooding and disaster. The next stage is to return stored seeds to their natural habitats, restoring ecosystems threatened by climate change and land loss.